Hello Pisces, it is AD with Cast Hero and I am going to be doing a bonus reading for you guys. This is just my thank you, thank you, thank you for being so supportive with me in my journey. Again, I was telling Virgos and Geminis and Pisces, y'all are like the biggest followers. So I just wanted to say thank you and just do like a fun little reading while I had some extra time. Anyways, I also wanted to make an announcement um, just because I did see a decrease in my numbers and I just wanted to let you know I have changed Pisces the format of how I'm going to be doing. I do really like the live readings and I like doing all of the water signs, earth signs at once. They are time stamped though. It's not like a group reading where I'm only reading one. They're time stamped. You get individual readings. I'm actually added more cards since I changed the format. So if you don't catch the live, don't feel like you miss anything. It's all there. Just click on it and hit um, the time stamp. So I'll start making that announcement you guys just because I want you to, you know to know that also before we really get started check out the description box below and information how to book a personal reading with me I am doing $25 15 minute special y'all and that so you'll be able to do find that information in the description box and follow me on Instagram I started doing daily readings I really really love it and appreciate it guys it's doing well people enjoy them so yeah if that's something that interests you then hippity hop on over to Instagram and follow me there all right let's get into your reading um, Pisces, as I was pre-shuffling, really great, I was about to say, I was going to say really great things. I see a, a partnership, union, soulmates, all right? It's going to start coming in. And sure enough, this flew out. Knight of Cups, Page of Swords, and um, the Lover's Card. Could be connecting with a Gemini, could be connecting with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or an Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, but somebody who has some pretty deep feelings for you, I would say is probably watching you on social media, trying to learn more about you. You could be in the phase of getting to know someone that you really like, or somebody who just truly tickles your fancy. Um, could be tickling something else. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, you know, it's the summertime. That is kind of like the energy that I'm getting, but there's going to be some type of offer. Um... For, for love, for long-term love, maybe from somebody that you've left out in the cold. But I'm also thinking from other people, too. I'm thinking that, like, hot commodity. Hot commodity. Hot toddy. You know what I'm saying? Um, people just want to be in your orbit, Pisces. Ooh. I'm going to take the first ones that came out. Yeah, we have the Emperor and the Page of Wands. So a lot of passion could be dealing with the Taurus and Aries here, Sagittarius or Leo. But there's like a passionate coming from, if it's not love, then this could be boss or just somebody higher up, probably some side of um, age difference. But somebody could be delivering a message to you of passion like, hey, I want to work this out. Hey, I want to get to know you. Hey, I want to be with you. Hey, I want to give you money. Hey, I want to fund your projects. It's one of those where somebody's just like, hey, I'm interested in what it is that you got going on. Let me be a part of it. Let me invest. And you're just like, <laughs> okay, <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right, Zaddy. You know what I'm saying? Because um, that is, the emperor is like the, the, the Zaddy card. <laughs> All right, let's see what's going on for Pisces for this bonus reading. What does Pisces need to know right now? Yeah. So, could be connecting with a Capricorn or a Pisces. There is a deep connection here. Um and again, you're just going to have a lot of offers. There's going to be a lot of temptation and lust that's coming in for you. Be careful just with the, the devil card and the high priestess because not that it's dark energy in like a negative way, but be careful not to fall into codependency and just lose yourself in like addiction and temptations. Now, you know, and let's, let's be real Pisces. Let's, let's, you know, okay, Pisces to Pisces, all right. We can have a tendency, all right, to, you know, have a good time with drugs and alcohol and all that other stuff because we like to escape. So, and sex and all those other things. It's just those vices. We can truly get lost in them trying to escape our realities. I really don't think that it's coming from a negative place. It's just, you're going to have so much attention. You could feel overwhelmed. There's so many offers that are coming in. So if you're participating in these things, just be safe. You know, if you are multiple sexual partners and all that other stuff, make sure that you're being safe so you don't end up eating that decision a little bit later just be try to be cautious don't be so caught up in the lust of the moment that you forget like hey health matters stis exist you know let me make sure that i'm cool clean um 
but it, but have fun, all right? Because the vices are going to be there, all right? And it is the summertime. Just be sure that you're being smart because I see, again, a lot of offers, multiple offers coming in for you. So much so you're overwhelmed. Just follow your gut. Follow your gut because I'm also sensing that some people who are going to be coming back into your life are people that you've been addicted to in the past, if that makes sense. And you probably worked your way to unaddict yourself, <laughs> right, from this person. And so once they come back, follow your gut to know if you can even handle it. Some things don't need to be re-experienced. If you've learned the lesson, then leave it in the past. Again, with the high priestess here, that's going to be different. That's going to hit different for everyone. But you know internally that is your energy, guys. But there's a deep connection. But look at this. Ooh, I love this combination, right? Ooh, it got better. It got better. Yeah. You've manifested this new beginning and this change and transformation. You're ready to hop into this next chapter of wish fulfillment. All this major arcana, guys. I mean, what a great transition that you're in. Um... And what a great leap and risk you're about to take and get that wish fulfillment in this new journey because you took the lessons. You took the lessons from the past. That's why I'm like, just be careful because there's it's going to be like, I just heard like old temptations knocking at the window. Like there's just going to be people who are just coming back who you worked really diligently to get rid of and now they're coming back. <laughs> um, you know... Take that as you take that as you will. Yeah, look at all this, man. This is so clear, guys. We haven't even gotten to the reading, so I'm happy that I did this because it seems like <laughs> the juice is loose, right? So we have strength. Could be connecting with a Leo, but I really feel like this is your energy. This is my re -re card, okay? I was just like, yeah, I said it, babe. Like, this is a great energy guys you're just receiving a lot of attention people want you to notice them you kind of want to be noticed and look at this judgment call so people are going to be coming to your i heard rescue but you're not needing saving but people want to just they want to be the one to be your knight in shining armor like they want to offer you that stability in long term look at this we have the knight of cups and the king of pentacles so somebody's like marry me marry me you're mine you're all that i want you're all that i have eyes for but again i feel like this is coming from multiple people i am not gonna lie like i don't think that this is a singular individual this king of pentacles could be connecting again with the capricorn taurus or virgo um but people are offering long-term stability and you're gonna have to use your again your discernment to know which path to go down because you're gonna have so many options and again it's the summertime so you might not even have to pick one just yet but through all of this murk, there's going to be a, there's going to be one person or maybe even two that really, really, really get you going, and you know that that that's my union, that's my divine partnership with this um, judgment card. And again, this is probably the person who's probably going to be like the one is somebody who you dealt with in the past. It might not be the ex. It might not be the ex person that you're just like don't. Uh, 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 I hate that dude. It might not be that one. It might be like a friend that you had or like a short fling that you had who comes back who's just like, hey, I was in this mess, but now I'm, I'm ready and I'm here for you. I got rid of it. I cleaned out my karmic cycle. And that is really how soulmates tend to work. It's like somebody who you come in contact with before and then you meet back up later in life. So you could be coming into that union. But again, you're just going to have to be <laughs> weed whacking all of these people who are going to be coming back and offering you love and and. L O V E E E E E E and affection. Love. Ooh, uh, uh, uh. Like the Rihanna song, you know? Yeah, look at this. Okay. Could be connecting with the cancer, but moving away in silence or somebody moving towards you. Lord have mercy. I was like, I'm tired of these cards. I'm trying to get to 10 minutes in. Haven't even got in there. But yeah. Use your discernment to trap to go through this wheel of fortune because look, their changes are coming, baby. You hear me? They're coming. All right, and you're being courageous as how you're going against it with this seven of wands. Again, this is a lucky number. So seven, really, really lucky time. Just use your discernment. Remember to keep your head in the game as much as you can. It's going to be a mix between your head and your intuition um, because you already know. But again, once those temptations start coming in, it can be easier said than done. When you're like, mm, when this person comes back, I'm going to be like, hell no. Hell to the no, no. Now it comes back and you're just like, well, maybe... Just remember the, um, oh, just kidding. Pointing out the wrong one. But the King of Swords. And again, the King of Cups helps too. Because again, it's going to be that intuition. Your your jolt reaction when this person returns. Or when these offers come in is the one that you should go with. 
Your discernment is so keen on people. It doesn't even have to be like a specific love reading. This can just be friendships that are trying to come back too. People, Lord have mercy. I was going to say, people smell success. Ooh. Sorry. People smell success, Pis Pisces, and people smell happiness. And look, as right when I was about to say that, look at what came out. This is success, and this is success and happiness. All right? So that's why people are just going to be coming out of the woodworks, just out of the woodworks, trying to be in your good graces because they know that you're about to have it. Everything that you said that you were going to have, everything that you said you were going to do, it's about to come. And they smell it like fucking vultures. So just be aware that, like, whatever your gut is, don't talk yourself out of it. Look at this. Don't talk yourself out of these proposals and messages that are going to come in. You're going to have a very strong reaction to when these people speak to you. And you're going to know if they're friend or foe. All right? If they're trying to just come in and be in, get, get in on the get down. Because you're about to be moving and grooving. Like, I mean, woo-wee. That thing, that thing, that thing, that thing that you've been waiting for is coming in. With the seven of pentacles, with that patience again with seven. So you could be even pursuing the childhood dreams, the new beginning with the past life relationship. But you you know, you know, you know, okay? Let's see if we can actually get the reading started now that we're like 11 minutes and 33 seconds in. Which is great. <laughs> 11, 11, and 3, 3, the doubles, okay. Recovering. You recovered from like heartbreak all right lord lord recovering from heartbreak you put an end to it you're stepping out of the ten of swords moment and you're walking straight into something new all right <laughs> thank you welcome to the welcome to the reading all right, so the underlying energy we have, interestingly enough, is the Eight of Cups and the Three of Swords. And this is really interesting because this popped up in my own personal reading. Some of you guys could be traveling, but you're walking away from heartache. You made the conscious decision to be like, I'm leaving this pain behind and I'm focusing on work and, and completing my goals. And again, this Five of Pentacles, this is to me, change. Your financial situation, for a lot of you guys, is about to change. Um, you're coming to the completion of a cycle that's going to step you into more balance, all right? And again, if you follow me on Instagram for those daily readings, because this ties into the daily too, you could easily be coming back into, you're going to be meeting the tribe that you've been waiting to meet to get you to fulfill these dream, dreams. So remember to ask for help um, if you need it. But I just see you stepping away. You could be traveling, taking a vacation, stepping away from the three of stories, stepping away from that heartache, that pain, and, I mean, gliding into your work. Um, gliding into your work and fulfilling that ambition that drives you, yeah? Balance, finances, resources, you know? There's progress here. Moving forward. Okay. Six of Wands, victorious, and a lot of attention. Two of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. Oh, I'm so happy I did this reading, y'all. Two of Pentacles. The heart we have is the Ten of Swords. The Knight of Wands coming at you. The Ace of Wands. Two Aces, guys. Two Twos. A lot of synchronicities. The Empress. And the Page of Wands. Lot of fire. Ring of fire. Johnny Cash. I think Johnny Cash was a Pisces. I'm pretty sure Johnny Cash was a Pisces. But I'm hearing Johnny Cash, Ring of Fire. <laughs> um, or the Line of Fire. Or whatever the song is about fire. Anyway, sorry. Mm. Do 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 do. You're going to be receiving a lot of attention. I think, again, this, this reads 
a lot of ways. People are going to be coming at you, trying to come into union with you, and you have a return. All right, you have a return to somebody that you're going to come into union with. Follow your gut and your intuition for when this person comes back. I'm, I would almost go out on a limb to say that you might not even be in contact with this person yet, but you've dreamt of this person. You can almost smell this person because they're so close and you're reaching out, but I'm imagining that the whole pattern that you've been in is about to break very, very soon, and you're about to be receiving that attention that you need. Because again, they smell success. Every success everybody does. Everyone does. And they know that you're happy and they want to be a part and they want to build on it, okay? And this could be friendships. Again, it does not have to be a romantic partner, but I'm sensing some sort of return. But bigger than that, your options are just so wide open. But you could be coming into contact with that perfect partnership as far as business goes, long-term stability, okay? But your resources, finance is about to change. For some of you, you could, you could be finding a new source of income, um, or just your source of income now is just going to skyrocket. You might have somebody who's has is more business minded than you are, and it's just like, hey, let me help you grow your business, and they're able to to do that. Um, and kind of help you out. So we even go from the ace to the two. So again, this is going to be juggling, but I don't imagine this is indecision. I'm just like, there's so many options that you could take this Ace of Pentacles. And again, for some of you, it could be a large sum of money just coming in and you're like, well, well now what am I going to do with it? How am I going to invest it? But with this next chapter, with this newfound audience, um, with this newfound job opportunity, you're going to be like, wow, this is great. What do I do next? Like, where? what's my next move? Okay, so this isn't like the Willy Wonka. It's a really excited... Um, it's really looking forward to like, oh my gosh, I have what I want now. Now I can actually start investing and placing it. Where do I place this? All right. And I'm imagining that you could probably have some help from somebody who might be a little bit more business minded than like a Pisces. Because Pisces are just like, I love everyone. What is money? Peace. But you need to have somebody who's just like, all right, so don't give away your house. You're going to need that. All right. <laughs> You're going to need to, you know, keep some money in your account. All right. You can't give it all away. Um, so you could be coming into union with that type of person or energy. Ending to that really pathetic ass cycle that we've been in. Um, that hard, harsh cycle. This five of pentacles moment, you know, that move to the world card. It's ending. That isolation, that feeling like nobody understands me, nobody gets me. I mean, Pisces always feel like that. But, you know, as deep as we were feeling it. I, it's it's releasing it's releasing you're stepping into a new new chapter you have this 10 which is this magnificent this ending of betrayal and just heartache and devastation and nah, 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 and nothing works ever what is wrong with me right to two passionate beginnings okay and like i said knight of wands this could be your energy too, because I think that you're reveling in all the attention that you're getting. You've been waiting for this moment. Nothing wrong with that. Could be connecting with an Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo, or just somebody who's super passionate about you. They're all about you. Um, and you're going to have so many people that are about you and you're going to be following your own passion. So this is fling season. It's the summertime. We are just on the edge of summer solstice. Um, so you could be feeling hot, hot. I'm feeling hot, hot, hot. Because this entire bottom row is on fire energy, okay? Some of you guys, kid, children. So, if again, if you don't want kids, be mindful, be careful. <laughs> Wrap it on up, you know what I'm saying? Um, Because we have the Ace of Wands and the Empress. So, this is fertility growth. But I think for career and passions and all this other stuff, it's not going to be for babies for everyone. But for that thing that you've been nurturing and wanting to grow... You're going to be able to do that. You have the insight and the excitement and the passion and the drive to do it. And again, the Empress is so attractive. I just can't express that enough. How many offers you could possibly, how many messages of just like, ooh, girl, I just, or ooh, man, I just want to do you so we can do the do do, 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 you know what I'm saying? Especially with this page of wants there and there could be age differences with the people that you're connecting with you could be with somebody older you could be with somebody younger um it's just going to be such a gambit of people that you're dealing with <laughs> and you're just down for the ride all right you're down for the ride you're enjoying it you're enjoying socializing meeting people but i'm just seeing the beginning of a really beautiful budding partnership um 
And it, again, it can be romantic, but it doesn't have to be. But there's just like a beautiful partnership that you're coming into union with. And it's closing out this really tough cycle of this Ten of Swords. And you look so beautiful. You look so beautiful. And this relationship, this partnership, this friendship is going to be so empowering to you. Um, because you've done the work yourself. Like now you know that you're the shit. And so once you have another person who's also the shit and both of y'all can be the shit together... That's where you get Beyonce and Jay-Z, you know what I'm saying? Baby, he's a billionaire and Beyonce is well on her way to becoming one also. You know what I'm saying? It changes the it changes the flavor. Like Beyonce is good enough by herself, but when you have that partner, it can really knock you up some notches. So some of you guys are coming into union with that partner, that person, that other half, you know? And, I, and they're just going to be, I'm just sensing that they're more business savvy than you are. And that could possibly what you admire about them. Um... They might not be an earth sign, but they carry a lot of earth energy. They can have earth somewhere in their chart, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. I'm hearing particularly Capricorn and Taurus, though. Um, but you, what you bring in emotion, they bring in business. And together, you guys are able to like really have like this super passionate um, connection because you understand, like, man, I know I made it. I can do battle on myself, but with you, man, rocket, rocket ships. Oh, and shout out to Elton John if you have not seen the Elton John movie, Rocket Man. I just saw it. It's so great. I love it. It's particularly, you know, I'm talking to a lot of Pisces who are artists and want to be singers and songwriters and dancers and like these creatives. If you want to be creative, then do it. I This is just for me. I'm not getting paid for this, but I love that movie. And if you're a theater person like myself, if you're a theater geek, okay, you know what I'm saying? You will appreciate, you will appreciate it on a whole different scale. So that was my little plug. All right, but that's what I got for you for this bonus reading. So this is really awesome. I'm expecting this to come in in July um, and the end of June but July is going to be a hot month, especially with all this fire energy here, guys. Leo season is going to be great. And so is cancer season because that's our sister sign. So we're in a familiar energy. We're in a very familiar type energy. So that's really, 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 really great and kind of relieving, guys. And I'm going to pull the animal oracle. But before I do this, I just want to give you that friendly reminder, please, to check out that description box below because I am going to be doing that $25, 15-minute special Follow me on Instagram for daily readings. And if you haven't gotten a chance to, please check out my song. The, just, the link for that's in the description box. And if you have, thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate all of you who have already. I just, so grateful. And I'm cooking with, I'm cooking up some more songs, guys. So stay tuned. Um, I'm really working my ass off to get some good music going. So yeah, just hang on to Smoke and Mirrors in the meantime, though, while I get the rest of it popping, all right? For Pisces, please bonus reading. Lord. Lord. So we had a few come out. I'm going to take all of them because they all flew out and, you know, so just <laughs> now it's story time. So I'm going to be reading a lot. All right. So first we had Cougar, assertive. In silence, you find power. Claim your leadership role and take action. All right? You know where to go and what to do. You have the courage and confidence to succeed. Boom. Bingo. And you do, all right? You do have the courage and confidence to succeed, Pisces. Leadership. Leadership is big. You're stepping into roles. You're victorious, okay? Okay? And I've never gotten this card before, so this is super exciting. Elephant, greatness. Love is your strength. Leadership, again, is your path. Your wisdom inspires everyone you meet. You can overcome any problem. You will naturally and easily achieve success. Right? So a lot of what I'm getting, celebrity spotlight a lot of eyes on you a lot of people wondering what you think about certain situations a lot of people wanting your opinion because there's just so much <laughs> you're just being thrust and you're being propelled into a place where people are looking for you for answers you have them though you actually have the answer so it's not like you're like I'm really good, but i don't know you actually really know you're really stepping into your um you're stepping into this power position so just be confident all right so we also had sea otter happiness be the master of playful living 
Release expectations and enjoy every day. Let worry go and instead choose love. Surrender to the waves. All right, waves, water sign. Your good destiny of love is sure. And there we go with love. Destiny, riding those waves. Having fun. Keep it lighthearted, guys. Don't get overwhelmed because people think that you're awesome. You are. All you have to do is be yourself. They're, all you have to do is be yourself. That's what they want. That's what they like you. That's the shit. That's why they're paying you the big bucks. Okay, Pisces? That's why they want to pay you the big bucks. Somebody wants to invest in you. Um... And just have fun with it. Don't start overthinking it. Remember why you got into it for the first in the first place. Like, don't put too much pressure on yourself because this is what you were born to do. It should come with ease, right? And I've never gotten this card either. Black Jaguar. Sexy. All right. Old soul. Walk through life with confidence and grace. You have power from beyond the world. Focus on what you really want. You can create your dreams. You can create your dreams. And that is all the Empress is all about. It's just, and again, I'm sorry, I know this is late, but it's like, if you're a guy, this could apply to you too, you know? <laughs> but it's true, you know? Um, th there's just, you're able to manifest, the power of manifesting. And you guys are just taking that action towards it. I think that you've thought, you've already thought, you've already dreamed big, you were able to imagine. Now you're really super ready to be like, this is what life has in store for me. This is what I'm moving towards, all right? And then last but not least, this is the most cards I've had from this deck, but I love it all. All right, we have Hawk, Messenger. Spirit is sending you messages. Open your greater visions to see the sign. Focus on priorities and eliminate distractions. You have a bright future. Let yourself ascend to new heights. So play very close attention to dreams, numbers, synchronicities, all of that good stuff, guys. Um, big, 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 big energy. I'm getting big, big energy. You know what I'm saying? And that, you, ah, you have it. And the person that you're coming into contact with also has You both carry yourself that way. And so Pisces... Congratulations, you earned it. You earned it. You earned all of these beautiful things that are coming towards you. Do not question your blessings. Just say thank you. Just say thank you because this is just a... Mm, I'm so happy to be a Pisces right now, right? You know what I'm saying? We in this thing. Gang, gang. All right, Pisces. That is all I got for you. I hope that you enjoyed this bonus reading. Again, please don't forget to keep checking. Even when I group all the readings together, they are individualized within that reading. So don't be like, oh, man, this bitch, she lumped us all together. No, 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 no. It's still very specific. That I just prefer that layout. So I hope that you can join me with that. And don't forget to check out that description box on booking the, a personal reading with me for 25, um, 25 bucks for 15 minutes, all right? Thank you, Pisces. Peace. Until next time.